Born in Puzzlin. Um, I was trying to add music to this stream, but that failed miserably. Um, I think the problem is I'm using XSplit, and XSplit doesn't like music. Is that fair? It's probably fair. But we were doing some lazy morning puzzling. We can do it without music, but I thought, you know, you get show music and everything like that. That would be a nice way to spend a lazy morning. So I'll have to work on that uh, later today. If anybody has any suggestions. Oh, I'm so lazy. I forgot to do my Hello World. Let's do it. Oh, no. Spelling is also terrible. Hello, world. How are we doing today? How are we doing today? I'm doing all right. Not so bad. It's early. I stayed up. Really late watching the Celtics get their asses kicked. That was fun. If you're from Milwaukee, congratulations. If not, then I don't, I don't know. Alright, so. thought what I would do to get us kicked off is we would play a little bit more Rush Hour. Uh, big fan of Rush Hour. Puzzling game. Um, I'm also going to do, let's see some of the games. Boom, number nine, new pickup, all on the hotness. Uh, how am I going to show these off? We played this last week. We might play it again, a little birdie fight. And then another new pickup. This is a Reiner Knizia game, Bit. Uh, which I thought would be interesting to see. I have not played that one yet. I know how to play it. It's fairly simple. Um, but I have not yet played it. So last time, last week, on our previous episode, what we did was we tried to do Rush Hour with the green puzzles. What do I want to do? I want to cover up number one so I don't know what it is. All right. I think we got 11 minutes and something seconds. It was I had big plans to actually figure out what we got, but I then I completely forgot to do that. So I have no idea what our previous score was, but we are going to try to best our previous score. This is going straight up through just all the little green ones. Uh, this is the beginner level, as fast as humanly possible. I've got a stopwatch on my phone. Which we'll get ready. And let's see if we can beat last week. This is not the right thing. Stopwatch. Alright. Stopwatch is right there. I don't think you... Oh, I'll well, switch it to the other stopwatch. I've st I got a stopwatch app because the regular stopwatch app, you cannot see... You can see that though, right? There you go. Look at that. So let's take out all our little trucks. Get them right over here. Red can start on his face. Going the wrong way. Okay. I might actually switch this. Let's switch uh, Switch sides. Switch sides. Everybody on the other side. Car placement doesn't really matter. Get this guy up over here. All right. Fantastic. Are you ready? Last time we got stuck on number eight. Let's try not to do that again. Ready, set, go. All right. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, hold on. Hold on. This six seconds doesn't count. Okay, there we go. All right, what do I need? I need green. I need purple. Most of this is just setting up the puzzle. We need blue. Ah, uh, that. We need this. Okay. Whoop. Oh, we need that back there. All right. Go. Let's do this. Do this. Let's do this. Do that. 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 And we're up. Number one's done. Number two. Glad I had no problems with number one. So if I had problems with number one, that does not bode well for how I'm going to do in this game overall. Okay, green, this 
color, this color, and blue. All set up. All set up. Okay. Um, what do we have to do? What do we have to do? Uh, that, 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 put that there. That there. Um, oh no, no. You get stuck on puzzle number two. Bam. Puzzle number two is done. Puzzle number three. Oh, that goes right there. Look at that. I knew. I knew I was coming. Goes, that. goes there. Blue guy. Orange guy. Red and a green. Boom. All right. That doesn't matter. Put that there for now. Put that there for now. Uh, there. There we go. That out of the way. That out of the way. Ah, I made it. Trust me. Done. Four. The one I remember I I had trouble on last time was eight. Whoa. Green. Big blue. Orange. And this guy. That one's done. That one's done. All right. Um, what can we move? What can we move? We can move this guy over. Does that help? No. This guy down. That guy there. This guy up here. That guy back. That guy down here. These guys over. These guys down. All right. Da da. Four is done. Five. How are we doing on time? Two minutes. Oh, we're killing it. We're killing it. We got eleven something last time. Black car, purple and green. We got big green. We got big purple, pink. And where did the red car go? The red car is important. Oh no! And big blue. All right, done. Done. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can do. We can move these guys out of the way. We need to get that down there. We get that down there. We have to do this. Hey, look at that. Done. Nice. That was a good one. Five there. Four there. Purple. Green. Purple. Green. Red and blue. Okay. That will go. Oh, no, nope, orange. That one good? Good. Okay. Number six. What do I have to do? I have to get all of them down. I get them down, I gotta get that up. So let's do this. Damn. Nailed it. Seven. No big cars at all. Green, yellow, taupe, my favorite car, the taupe car, because I think it's ridiculous. All right, is that everything? That's everything. Nope. Is this guy? This guy goes one over. Okay. All right. Let's see. We got to get the, 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 that over, that over, that over, that over. I got to get that up. Uh... So I'm gonna do this. Get that up. Get that over. Down. Bam! Nailed it. Eight. This is the one I had trouble with before. Ooh, I'm only at five minutes. I think this is about the same as I was doing last time. I, oh god! And I did not do well because I could not figure out eight. Let's see if I remember how to do it. I do not. I do not remember how to do it. Uh, yellow. Big purple. Big blue. Big yellow. What? 
Oh, black's up here. This is there. Purple, blue. There's a lot of guys in this. All right, everybody's in. What can we do? We got all those guys back. Uh, what? Oh no, not again! I'm one car away. Oh, here we go. It's two stepper. There we go. That's a good one. All right. Get all these cars off. We got a red. We got our pink. Yeah. We got our green, orange, blue, purple, green, yellow, taupe. Old taupe car. No, next one over. Whoa. Okay, everything in place? Let's roll. All right, so I need to get. This is definitely going to be down. That's going to be over. For that to be over. Interesting. So this is going to go down. How do we get that down? We only get that down if we get this up. Hmm. Hmm. Let's put this up, I think. There we go. There we go. Now I can do this. I can do this, this, this. That and freedom, freedom. One more, one more. We got plenty of time. No need to panic. <clears throat> no need to panic at all. Blue, black car, pink, green. We need an orange. We need a blue. Green and taupe. Is that everything? Oh, red car. Red car is important. That is everything. Okay, so. So move this guy up, this guy down, this guy over. I definitely need to get that up. No. That there. How do I do this? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um. Shoot. Why the last one? Uh, so this definitely has to be there. For there to there, I need this to move. I can't... I need that to be there? Yes, I need that to be there. So, how do we fix this? I need that like this, but then this can't go back. We need this here. We need this down here. Is that what we need to do? Is that what it was like before? No. Yes, this will work. Right? Right. Yeah, there we go. Hey, look at that. Done. Stop. Ah, we beat it by like a minute. All right. 1037.7. Um, that 10 shouldn't really have been that hard. But it was. Because, you know, why not? <clears throat> oh, all right. 1037. I need to write this down somewhere. 
Hold on. Let's get a piece of random paper off the ground. So we have 10.37.7 is time to beat. Can't even see it. Fantastic. It's on the side of Utopia Engine, which is another great solo game. All right, so 10.37.7 is what you have to beat. If you can try, this is to speed run the first 10 levels of Rush Hour. And try not to practice too hard so you actually don't remember how to do every one. <laughs> That's a great way to speed run, right? Just completely forget everything you've learned. And just try to go on the next one. All right. Put that thing away for a second. So I think I'm going to try... I think I'm going to try some number nine. Um, it's a pretty quick game. We can come back to uh, Rush Hour a little bit later. Let's put this away real quick. And the other game I wanted to try was this Bits game. I think this looks, this looks like a lot of fun been discovering a lot of old Reiner Knizia games because they're all at thrift stores. Oh, you want to see what I'm doing? That would help, wouldn't it? Okay, boom. Let's try, this is the, uh, boom, new game a lot of people are talking about. Number nine, take it to the next level. Comes in a very cool box. Oh, where the pieces fall out. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Your base is basically a stacking game. Let's put that over there. All right. So I'll have these next to myself. We have a bunch of cards. Just gonna say which card is going to come out, and we'll build a little grid. My highest score is like a hundred and something, I think. It's hundred and hundred and eight. Let's write that down too. Highest score is a hundred and eight. Let's try to do a new high score. One oh eight. The one oh eight score might have been a lot of luck. Uh, that is a hundred percent possible. I'm sorry, that was right next to the microphone. That might have been awful. But, maybe not. Yeah. Wish I had been able to figure out that music. It would have been nice. Nice, chill, lazy, Saturday morning stream. I might have to switch to OBS. Because this is... X split is slightly terrible. There you go. I want to see the other stand. Ugh, let's see the magic behind the game. All right, shove them up, put them here. I will flip over a card. Ooh, a six. And that is what I have to put down on the board. I'll put it like that. What will the next one be? A two. So, <clears throat> I can't flip it over, uh, but I can orient it in any fashion that I want. I could do that, I could do that. Um, I think I'm trying to make the biggest base area possible. I think I'm going to do something like this. That seems reasonable. Okay. A three. Here's our three. So do we have enough to start building up yet? I do not believe that we do, but we can start increasing the size of our base. That. Seems fine. A seven. And we could put a seven up here. Uh, that doesn't work. So when you lay something on top, it has to hit at least two different things. Where is an interesting place for a seven? We could do something like this that doesn't add a lot of space. We could do something like this that again seems to cut down our avenues of putting more things on the second level. 
we could do something like this that's probably bad hmm or we could try to build out at like our base level more which I think is what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna do that so that gives us a nice square here Ooh, we got a high number all right an eight so I'm gonna put this eight right there so because there's a lot of surface area a two two does a two fit anywhere very well let's see see the two doesn't really go with the eight that well we could do something like this that's not too bad I like that actually do something like that we have a nice surface area for our next level. See how they just start kind of stacking up? A three. So I think, oh, just can't put it in there. That would have been a great placement. A three. I could keep stacking up. Not sure if that's worth it. I could keep adding base, something like this. I think we need to make our base a little bit bigger. Yeah. Three is not that high a number. A five. Here's our five. <clears throat> Where do we want to put our five? Can't go on the third level. You can't go on the second level from what I'm seeing. So maybe we do something like this. Mm, that doesn't look that doesn't seem great. Need something that can get in there. Is there even any there's not even any shapes that can really do that? <clears throat> it's the wrong way for a seven to go. Maybe something like this. Give a little bit more service area for the second half. All right, we got a seven. Do have a pretty good place for a seven right here. Although, we could also, seven times two is a lot of points. But it does cut down a lot of avenues. Nah, I like the seven down here, I think. That's a nice one. A zero. Yay, zero points. See, I'd rather, this would have been a better place for the zero. I don't know what you're supposed to do with these. Like the zero is kind of, assumably you're just supposed to build out your base. There's this giant hole in the middle. They're more just terrible than good. I don't know, let's put it over here. A nine. We definitely want this on the second floor. Put that guy right there. A one. Ones aren't bad. Something like this. At least gets us one point. Um. I wish we could throw it in there. Ah. Oh. Like the, the biggest rule in this game is you can't flip it over, right? Because then things fit a lot easier when you're able to flip them over. I'm going to put it here. Why not? Another nine. Ah, just short of getting it on that second level. We can't even get it on the first level. Oh, this game's going bad quickly. Let's do it here. Whoop. What else we got? A four. So, four is kind of funky. Four. 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 Hmm. 
Let me put it up here. That's five. Man, that hole is killing me. Otherwise, I could put it right here. That would have been great. That hole is killing me. Do have another zero coming. Which doesn't really help. What are we doing with this five? Hmm. That one hole. Really messing with me. I don't think I can even. Here, I'll put it here. A one. Let me do something like this. I'd like to line it up to this nine and maybe get something else. I could, I could definitely do this and maybe get another second level. I'd like to get a third level. That's where the points are. If I put it like this, is there anything? Is there anything possible? So I've got a zero left. I've got a four left, which it wouldn't work with. I think I'm going to do it here. A zero. I don't know what the heck to do with these zeros. Like I can do, uh, I can't even do it. Oh, get over here, zero. Now my four. What can a four do? Man, does this board stink? There's so many, like almost. I've got these little tiny holes. Hmm. Oh, I can't even do that. I was thinking maybe I could put it up here. Oh, no, I can. Yeah, I'll do it. Cool, cool. An eight. I should be able to put an eight somewhere. I'd like to put it up high, please. Wow, this one hole right here. It's like destroying me. I don't think I can put it on the second level. I don't even think I can put it on the first level. So get these little tiny holes. I'd be very interested to see what other people's scores are. I feel like I'm not very good at this. But maybe I am. Maybe I'm just not giving myself much credit. But I feel like I'm not very good at it. Wow, there is just bad after bad placement for this guy. There is nowhere to go with it. Hmm. I need basically like a 3 by 4 block. And everywhere is just a bit off. Alright, I guess I gotta burn it. I'll put it over here. A six. Again, just that one little hole. I guess it's my fault. Who's else for? Who else could it possibly be? All right, put that on the first level, I guess. All right, so this is gonna be a terrible score. Let's see what we got. So we got uh, this is on the third level, so it's times two, so that's eighteen points. Um, plus eight is twenty six. Plus two is twenty eight. Plus four is thirty two. Thirty three. 34, 41, 47, 51. All right, that wasn't too bad. So that was a score of 51. Let's write down our scores. We'll see, best out of three, huh? Why don't we do it that way? Best out of three. 
It's all just practice. Practice for the real game. Play against other people. Destroy them. They did a very nice job with the kind of um, how the numbers are laid out. Like they don't, they almost go together. But there's these weird little holes that form depending on how these cards come out. Shuffle them up. Very interesting. I don't know like what is a good card to get first. I assume, here I'll show you what they all look like. So I assume zero is not fantastic to get first. Uh, but if you get a bunch of the more square ones, maybe you can build a decent base there. Um, you definitely want the zeros early because, I mean, I don't know why you'd put them on any level but the base level. Unless you really just had a great space that would get you to another level. Because there were zero, right? I wish it was filled in. If it was filled in, zeros would be nuts. It is not filled in. The big old hole in the middle with no way to fill it. All right, these guys go back down. We get our cards. What do we start with? A number one. All right, let's start with the one like that. Huh? Get a little creative. And then we start with an eight. So the one and the eight, I think that is their best configuration together. What do we think? We could do something like this. That's also doesn't seem bad. I like that actually. Let's try this. We got our, almost seems inappropriate. All right, I'm glad we did that because now we can do this. We got a nice little base going on there. A three, we can do something like that. Kind of like that, there's that hole anyway. We've already started on our second level. We get a six. So I think we want to do a six, something like this. Yeah, that seems good. We get a one. Hmm. My estimation would be this is what we want to do. Because it's three, you don't, definitely don't want to do that. There's no way to fill in this gap. Oh no, there is a way to fill in this gap. You can do this. Oh, that seems much better. Much, much better. All right, we're building something here, folks. Oh, zero. Well, we can do something like this. Make that base really nice. Okay. A seven. Now, what do we do with a seven? Don't have... We could do something like this. We already have our ones, so these would never connect. We could do something like that. Is there anything that I could put here? Ever. Um, I'm trying to look at the, the things. I don't think anything ever cleanly fills that. So ideally, you know, obviously you want to have those touching. You could do something like this. That might be okay. This might be all right. Let's try this. A four. So my initial thought is here. I think that's a good thought. Because no matter how we can figure it, we're going to have a gap there. Now we want to build up. Up, up, up. Okay. Here we go. This is taking shape. Another seven. Another seven. So we have no room on our first floor for anything. There's our seven. We can start trying to like build out. That's not awful. We could 
And we just throw it on top. Oh, we do this. That might leave room for another one. All right, I like that. A two. Does my two fit? No, two doesn't fit because of this hole. Two could go here, but not because I don't have a thing. So I could build this out a little bit more, like that. That can't do it because of this hole right here. And I can't fill that hole because of these sides. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Can't do that because there's holes all over the place. So let's try to build out here. What does that do though? Try to build out there. That seems r even worse. That seems bad. What could even go in that slot? Just a one. I've already used my sevens. Yes, yeah, so if I do that, nothing could fill that hole. I could do this and just leave a hole. Most surface area. I could do this. I think this is the play. All right, let's try that. Another two. That's what I wanted. I'll do something like that. Or this, look at that, that's way better. All right, we're figuring out how things fit, ladies and gentlemen. Not quickly. Ah, one missing. I can do something like that. But then this hole is like devastating. But is there anything that I have that I can pull that can actually fill that hole? There is not. I desperately need to build a bigger base for this so I can hopefully get something to an even further level. I can't do that, right? No. I think this is the play. Okay. Now we get a five. This is where I give up now. Kidding. That's not awful. There's nothing. There's nothing else to do with it. Let's put it here. A four, a four. That seems good. A nice base there. An eight. I knew you were coming eight. And I made a n oh no 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 shoot I'm one off. I did not anticipate. I need this one filled. Oh, I thought I had a nice little home for you. Can't do that because of this hole. Oh man, there's just there's no way I can put it. Wow, interesting. Hmm. I thought I had pulled the perfect one. I did not. I know, nerdy. Very tough. Very tough. Hmm. Well, my perfect piece is really kind of shit the bed here. Can't go anywhere. Ooh, losing the losing the eight is not good. Uh, I guess I'll put it here. Is that even good? Hmm. <sighs> Nerdy, have you guys played this game before? I think it came out late last year. This works, right? Right? Yes. Although it doesn't allow me to do anything. The thing is, I really want a 9 up here. I think I need to do this. <clears throat> 6. There's my 9s. Because I haven't used any 9s, right? So is there a way? I'm going to put this here. There's my other 9. Look what you can do with these 9s. 
You can stack them. If you have another piece next to it. And then a five. Do I care where this five goes? Not really. I would like points from it, I suppose. I would like points. Don't think points are in the cards for me. Not that I see. I like that I've collected this whole thing just completely to the side of the screen here. There's just giant empty space. That's good. That is fantastic as a broadcaster. <clears throat> yeah, I saw it. Um, how much was it? It was like 20 bucks, I think, when I bought it. Um, and I knew I could use it on the stream, so... I, I am a big, big fan of abstract games. Um, the issue is usually, I mean, it's very rare that abstract games are soloable unless they're just straight out puzzles. Um, <clears throat> and if they're puzzles that we can play them on Lazy Morn Puzzle. All right, so here's my thing. So I have one, two, three, we have four layers. So the top layer scores times three. So it's nine times three is 27. Uh, the second layer score times two. So that was 27 plus 14 is 41 plus 18 is what, 59. And this is just times one. So we have 59, 62, 65, uh, 69, 75, 79, and 86. Yes, 86. All right, we're getting up there. We started, our first game was 51. Um, I was just playing this to get the handle of it last night, and my high score was 108. 108. All right, we're going to try one more time. We said best out of three. And then we're going to try bits. I think I had a good base for that one. I don't know. I had that one little, little weird gap. I'm still trying to figure out exactly... Because the pieces don't, don't really fit together. They kind of fit together. <laughs> I mean, the only math technically in this is scoring. So as long as you could do the scoring for him, just high numbers, put him up. That's all he's got to know. I'm going to cut myself. That's interesting. All right. Boom. That's what we got. Yeah, I don't mind doing math at all. I was a math major in college. But... All right, let's see if we can get this a little bit more centered on the screen. Let's see what we can do with this. All right, we got our, this is the time. We got 51, we hit 86. Let's break 100. The one thing, like in the rule book, usually they say, so if it's like a beat your own high score, usually they tell you how good you're doing, uh, but this one does not. Boom, it's a three. Like if I, it doesn't say if a, over a hundred is is that a a good score? Is that a terrible score? That seems good, right? If I can pull a one out, we are in great shape. I right, pulled a zero. It's the opposite of what I wanted. I think I want to do something like this, or I could do this. Um, that seems bad, right? I want to build a base. Let's do that. That is the most connecting squares. Pull one. I want a one. Oh, not a seven. Oh my God. I can leave that weird middle space. Oh no. Oh God. Ruined it all. Wow, a seven was like the worst thing to draw here. Actually, I can put it right here. I don't think that's awful. I can put a four in there. All right, one, give me a one. Ooh, a four. 
This is what I was talking about before. Look at that. Look at our base, getting basier. Another four. I just wanted the one four, not two fours. See, these kind of go together like that, but obviously it doesn't work. Maybe I can do, no. <laughs> so maybe I can put them over each other. It's not how that works. No. Do we think it's time to start building my second level? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like the... They're like, oh, you scored five points. Or, you know, they, they, you put on a terrible performance and uh, you've been fired from doing fireworks forever. Oh, thanks, game. Appreciate the boost in the confidence. I don't know what to do with this. I think I'm going to do this. That seems okay. I really want to draw one. But the game... Game thinks otherwise. I think something like this could be good. Let's try this. Score first points. We're on the board. We've got three. A two. Two doesn't fit especially well with the three. Not especially. We could do something like this. And then hopefully fill in like this with an eight or something. Is that a good thing? Mm hmm. I'm going to put it here. <clears throat> I need that one. Give me a one. Oh, it's a nine. Four deep. Huh. I just want to flip them so bad. It's like the only rule is you can't flip them. Like, oh, I found so many great spaces for it, like this. Hmm. Is that good? Kind of wish I had flipped this around now. All right, whatever. We're doing it. Nope. Oh, now I gotta shuffle these. My next card was a six. A six, huh? I think I've got a place for a six. Oh no, it's the wrong way! I wanted to put it like this. But that is the wrong way. Again, I think that's fine. Or I could do something like this. Does that help though? I think that's better. Wow. I'm just never gonna get this one that I wanted since the second turn of the game. Never gonna get it now. Hmm. You could put it here, right? I feel like I need to build on my base more, though. I don't have that many cards left. This doesn't especially fit in extremely well. I'll do something like that. Put an 8 there. Hmm. Where do you fit in? 2... Where do you fit? I'd rather not put a 2 on the second level because it's just not a lot of points. What was my play before this? Whatever, we're going with that. Oh! Now you give me a 1. Now that I completely backed out of the plan that I had to do that. Like literally one turn late. 
put it here. Yeah. A nine. Now this is what we want on the next level. Is there a spot? Can I put it right here? Oh, I can. All right, that's some points. That is some points there. Another one. Huh. Hey, what do we got going on with this guy? Another one, huh? I kind of want an eight to go there. I want an eight to be there, so I don't want a one to be there. Just throw it off like this. Get a point out of it. Random point. A five. I haven't put down any eights, right? I'm not losing my mind. There are still eights in this game. Hmm. This gap is going to be a problem. I could fix it if I could do this, but I can't. I cannot. Do something stupid like this. That's such a waste. Can't do that. Could just put it here. Also a waste. Do something like that. Whatever, man. I don't think this one's going well. We needed a couple things that we just kind of never got. Is that the best way to do it? I think so. A seven. I can do this, right? Yeah, look at that. It all worked out. <clears throat> so what do I have? I have two left. I still have a zero and a five. A zero and a five. Well, the zero is going to score me nothing because it's a zero. Five will score me five. Do I have anywhere to put a five? Really, I mean, I feel like I have to put this up here to score any kind of points. <laughs> yeah. Well, the cool thing about multiplayer is, so you just flip over the card, and then everybody puts, you know, their set of. I mean, there's like there's so many of these tokens. Uh, everybody puts their own set together, and it would be cool to like look around. You get it's the same numbers um, but everybody's little tower will look extremely different we'll have to say if we wanna we'll have to build you your own tower over here and see if you beat me you probably would what is, what is this I still don't know what to do with zero screw you off over there well can I make it so I can place a five? Because I know the five is the last one. So we might as well try to get points, I guess. Um, if I put it something like up here, is that enough space? No. If I put it here, yes, that'll work. Let's get our five points. Watch me not have countered right. And now I can just do this. All right. Let's see how that works. Best try yet. Yeah. All right. So we we have one, two, three, four levels. So this is times three. Eight times three is twenty-four, and then nine times two is eighteen. Twenty-four plus eighteen is forty-two. Uh, plus fourteen is uh, fifty-six. Uh, Sixty-two. 62, 71, 72, 75, 85, 88. Oh, that's not bad. 
We did better every single time. We got 51, 86, 88. Yeah, Karuba. Yeah. Yeah, I like that interesting because, I mean, they, they seem to be doing it in a lot of games now. There's all the avenue games where you're trying to, like, basically build a map. And everybody gets their same, like, it's going to be, a, like, an edge or a turn or whatever. And you have to put that wherever you put that. And all the maps come out extremely different, um, which is really cool. Wonder if you have just it's just two people who are so similar in thought they just make the same ones, but that would all that would probably be incredibly unlikely. <clears throat> Alright. So I like this game. It's kind of easy going. It's not a whole lot of pressure. It'd be a kind of a fun fillerish type of game while people are like finishing up a long game or something like that i think it would be really good all right i'm gonna try bits let's try bits i don't even know when this game came out when bits come out 2011 is when this printing's from i've never heard of this game until i found it in the thrift store and i was like mine i'm gonna buy it Oh, nerdy. Did you see the last stream when I did birdie fight? Now this is, if you, if you're thinking like mathy, it's, well, the math is pretty simple, but it's like so brain burner E. That's a really good puzzle game. Bits. All right. Is that off the screen? It's off the screen. Welcome to Bits. Get out all these things. So this is like a Tetris style game. Ah, oh, you didn't see Birdie Fight? It is one of my favorites. And the art is incredible. I'll play it after this if you're still around. All these. Yeah, the art is like if you like one of those old bird books. It looks exactly like that. All right. The one thing I have to figure out is if solitaire is different. Solo version. Play one to three. Okay, cool. We don't actually need the four roll. Okie dokie. We have all of our beautiful tiles. I guess we are the triangle player. All right, let's set this up in the middle of the screen. Oh, my thrift store stuff? Yeah. I mean, I go an obnoxiously uh, large amount. That's not even that's not even the right way to say. I go a lot. I go at least, I hit at least three thrift stores once a week. So, it just kind of happens. Do -do -do. And there are a lot of days where it's just like nothing. It is Monopoly and Candyland for days. Uh, but every once in a while I find something really good. And a lot, a lot of it's just like older stuff that you never would have heard of. But they're still great games. My neutral. We'll put these off to the side for now. You can kind of tell the colors on those, right? Yeah. There's like a purpley, a blue. These are our starting tiles. Put these guys up here. And that's a spare tile. Okay. So, how do we play this game? So you have the five starting tiles. You got them right here. We shuffle them up and we pick one. And then we're gonna have all of these other color tiles and we're gonna mix them all up. And we're gonna choose them one by one and we shoot them Tetris style down this little board. This is ramped. There you go, see, it's curved. They don't really slide, 
But you can tell. You can tell that I go all the time. Because I post pictures like constantly about it. Is that why? It's fine, don't worry about it. I don't have a problem at all. Stop whenever I want. Alright. A one, a two, a three. Oh, three is backwards. Okay, so this is going to go through three rounds. Um, the first round, we just have the scoring from numero uno. So, what this means is if we have four light colors that are attached, we get plus one points for every instance of that. And if we have a square, we get plus two. So that would be nice. We make a bunch of squares. Oh, you're talking about the to colors. Okay. <laughs> a very different thing. Yeah, good. You can tell the difference. Excellent. I just didn't know. The purples and blacks, they're, they're enough different. Um, I gotta get way better lighting in here. Like, it's not even funny. I think I get a lamp. And I don't have any curtains. Well, they're there. But they're not good. They're not good. Alright, let's see what our starting tile is. It will be the blue and the black. Okay, I can put this anywhere I would like. I will put it here. I don't know if that's good or bad yet. Uh, actually, I'm going to put it here. If we're looking to make blocks. We got two yellows. Alright, our double yellow. Let's put this guy down here. That seems good. Let's see what the next one is. Double blacks. Ooh. Alright, that seems like a great place to put him right there. We need a single black. No, we have a blue and a yellow. Huh. Interesting, interesting. So do we continue the yellow trend? I think I'm going to put it here. Because then maybe I can get at least a four off of it, or maybe I can do more. Ooh, a purple and a black. Where is my purple and black? There we go. Let's put this guy right here. We made a square and connected four. Now that's a blue and a black. I don't want my black, this black touching those blacks. So let's keep them separated. Huh. Hmm. A red and an orange. Interesting. None of the reds have really come out yet. I feel like I want to slide it in here, but do I want to do it this way? Or do I want to do it this way? I think I want to do it this way. All right, so that's four connecting, but I could get more if I just make that into a square. Ooh, that would have been way better to get the turn before. Hmm. I'm going to put it here. Because I want to keep those four connecting. Purple and blue. Purple and blue. I would like to put that right here. Thank you. Maybe we can make that blue square. Purple and yellow. Let's do that. Where's my purple and yellow? There it is. So, where do we think we should put this? We can put it here. That would get us three perps. We might be able to put another purple right here. We can put it here. Yeah, let's try. So we're gonna put it up here and we're gonna slide it all the way down. Ooh, it just fits. Yeah, I'm trying to make that square. Double reds. Uh, that is not what I wanted. Well, I only have one. Oh, I guess I should have seen. I guess I should have looked at what pieces are left. I'm gonna put it here. Maybe I can just get another double red. Just pull it. Double black. Interesting. 
double black. I just don't want this. Don't want this at all. All the moves are bad. Let's put it here. Let's try to get points for four connecting. If we're not going to get points for, we got double blue. Damn. I still feel like I can get that red. I feel like I can get that red square. And I feel like I can maybe get that orange. I don't know. Let's put it here. Ruins all of our blue plans. Let's take this guy. Another double blue. Jeez. Well, I should have put it on here. We just double stacked. Another double blue. Well, it's time to ruin someone's day. A lot of purples left. There's still absolutely no guarantee that I pull that. I'm gonna do this. Ugh. Double purple. All right. Giving up on the dream. Oh man, so close. Double perp. Put it here. Is this two chances to pull black? No. Blue and a red. I mean, blues. Blues are bad anyway. I don't think this matters. Alright. Cool. Oh, I forgot to use my neutral. So you can always, whenever you take one, you can switch it out for this neutral. It just doesn't count as anything. If I really didn't want a color. All right, let's see. So how many four clusters of four do I have? I have one, I have two, I have three. Three clusters of four, that's three points. How many squares do I have? I have one. I got five points in that round. Write it down, five points, okay. Well, I can't say that that was great. I don't think it was. But I've never played this game before, so I don't know how many points. I would think like a really good score would be like double that, get like 10. That would be a really good score. Right, because what does that mean? You got like maybe th three squares, that would give you, that would give you nine points right there. Oh, I started to, started to back up here. We mix these back together. Get back in. Mix them up. My camera freeze. There we go. And so for the second round, we also have this. So if we get three in a row red, we get plus two points. Excellent. Let's see our starter tile, and it is the blue and the purple. Uh, let's put it over there. Yeah, let's do the same thing we did before. Let's do it like that. Because we can still get our points for doing what we had before, but now we get another bonus thing. All right, let's see what our first thing is. Black and a red. All right. So I think... I think I'm gonna put this over here so if I get a double red I can fill it um, and otherwise it doesn't mess with the potential squares yet that messes with the potential squares it is a blue I guess these are yellow orange it's really terrible orange hmm Put it like this. I can still work. Red and yellow. Let's do that. Double blue. All right. Screw the red plan. Two points. Hopefully. Hmm. So let's put. So we got a black. Let's put this here. 
So maybe we can connect it there and maybe connect the blacks. No, nah, that would. We can't even do the blacks there, so. Well, we'll see what goes on. Perps. Sliding on down. Blues. Hmm. What do we want to do with double blue? Not a whole lot. Let's put it over here. Maybe something will come up. Double reds. Yeah. Huh. Oh, that's so bad. Let's put it over here. Oh, does this also mean I want it to be horizontal? I don't know if the direction actually matters on these. Yeah, I don't think so. So it could be like this, right? It doesn't say that it that it matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, just making sure. It'll be played by the rules. So did we already do this one? Is this what we picked? Yeah, because we put the red over here, right? We got a blue and a red. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to give up my purple dream. Nah, let's just... Oh no, there we go. Duh. Look at that. Two perps. No! That's not what I wanted. I want one purple. It's like half the things are one purple. Wow. <clears throat> Did not want this one. Wow, there's so little orange. I mean, I don't feel like I have that many orange tiles out. There's only one I can pull. I'm just going to put it here. There we go. Red and a perp. That's what I wanted. Bam. Made another square. So we get a purple and a black. Let's do it here. Purple and a blue. Definitely want that point. Definitely want that point. Double black. Ooh, look at that. More points. Double this. Uh, I think I'll go here. We can never make a square again, right? Yeah. Just want to protect. I just want to protect my square at this point. We got double reds. Okay. I think that went better, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think it looked like from the rules they had like little scoring example. I think you can go horizontal or vertical. I don't think it matters. Just making sure. Because some of these might be do any of them look? Nah, none of them look different. Okay, so let's see our score. So first for our fours, we have one, two, three, four. That's four points. We've got three squares, that's six points. So that's 10, see? That, that how I thought 10 would be a good score last turn. And then we have one of these, so that's 12. So right now we have 17 in total. Stay paper, stay. All right, one more round. What are we doing this round? Now we get negative two points for every little L thing we have. Did we have any in this round? We did not. All right, so the third is actually a bad one that you want to avoid. So Nerdy, what are you doing today? You streaming today? A song stuck in my head. All right, let's go back to the pile. 
get a new starter card. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. What do we got? And wah, red and orange. Let's do it like that. Streaming much later on. Ooh, nice. I'm playing at uh, 2 o'clock? 2 o'clock. That's interesting. So if it's in two hours, it was at 10. Yeah, that's enough time. Because the pre-release at midnight probably would have went to like 6 or 7 a.m. Well, depending on the number of people. Double them up. Looks like a cool set, though. I'm excited for it. Um, it looks like a lot of fun to play with Sealed. Oh, oh no. All the legends. Alright. Let's see what we got. Alright, bits. It's ready. What did we make last time? 12. We gotta get more than 12 points. And this time we have a negative. If we get this thing, it is a negative. Flip it over. Alright. We got a blue and an orange. Let's do it like that. Why not? We got a blue and a black. Interesting. Where's my blue and a black? There it is. Um, I think I'm going to do it like this. We're just willy-nilly doing this there, people. Now, I have a plan. I have a master plan. Put that there. Try to make our three in a row. Oh, really? Yeah. The set looks, the set looks like a lot of fun. I try to get people to play um, 25th Anniversary Edition, and no one gave a shit about it. Just, like, nothing. It was... You couldn't get anybody to even buy packs with you. I just wanted to draft it. But... Oh, well. I think that's the best play. Although it is a negative two if I don't get another black there. But we plan to get another black there. And we got one right there. I'm gonna go like this. Yeah. Oh, well, I saw that one. Let's do this. That's exactly what I wanted, right? Yeah. Get my two points. All right. Just made. That's interesting. All right. Pull this up. Hey, there we go. red and a black don't really want either of these things let's do it like this I guess sure that's fine double blue just put it down here want to cut off our reds double black Interesting. I think I'm going to put the double black over here. So potentially, I only have one black left, but it could go here. Potentially. But I, oh, there's the black. Oh. Well, I guess that's not going to happen. Wow, I have really bad. Well, let's put it, let's put it here, I guess. That's really bad, though. Put it there. So I put it here, then I can't get the two reds. How long have I been playing? Ah, the original Innistrad was my. Well, I shouldn't. I We played, I think, in Cold Snap or Ice Age or something when we were kids, but that wasn't really playing Magic. That was a disaster. So two points. This is one point for two points. Nah, I'm going to do it like this. Red and a blue, red and a blue. Let's push this up a little bit. Double reds, good, exactly what I wanted. Bam. I would love to pull another double red, double purple. 
Interesting. Double purple. How about yourself? How long have you been playing? Hmm. Still, there's a lot of purple left. I cannot make a purple square. I did not think I'm going to score very high this round. I did not make enough squares. Oh, I'll put it there. Don't be blues. Oh no, that's that's a fine one. Yes. Double blue. I just dropped that. Put it here. Oh no 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 no! That would be a negative. That would be a negative point. Ooh, got that just in time. Double perps. I'll use my neutral instead so it doesn't break my thing. All right, I don't think I had any negatives, right? Almost did. For about 20 years? Yeah, nice. So that puts you back to about 98, which is like kingdoms or something? That was before Ice Age, right? I don't even know what was out then. Hmm. What was your first set? What was 98? Alpha and beta and stuff were like 94. Hmm, I don't know. All right, let's see what our points are. I feel like I did really poorly at this game. Anyway, so number of con four connections. We have one, two, three. That's three points. Number of squares, we have one. That's five points. Again, it doesn't feel like that's a good use of that tile. But number threes, we have two. So that's nine points. So not quite our 12 from last turn. We didn't get any negatives. So overall, we get a 26. It was Urza. Nice. Did you get all the Urza lands? I don't have any. Well, I don't think I had any good old cards anyway. Um, but I don't have any of that stuff. I mostly just draft. I like drafting. Or sealed, you know, whatever, whatever limited format. Um, instead of building a deck, I've got a cool uh, green. I guess it's an Abzan um, token stack for modern. It's like all oh, it's Gideons and Nissas, and everybody's pumping out tokens, and you know, um, spirits and all that kind of stuff. But all right, that was bits. That was very interesting. I didn't mind that one bit. Ha. Oh, jeez. That was bad. All right. Um, cool. I think I'm going to play some birdie fight. I'm in the mood for some birdie fight. What do we got? We've got about half an hour left before I was going to jump off. That sounds just about right for some birdie fight. So let me put this away. Got nothing. Yeah. I mean, when you're like eight... It's tough to be like this will this will be in my collection forever. Be like, nah, I'll trade it for like gum. It's all good. The nice thing about this game is like the storage system is really cool. There's all the tiles go right back into the tray. Everything uh Closes up nicely. The pieces are nice. They're like a plastic. There's little. It even gave me. Like this was obviously I didn't, I didn't buy it retail. I brought it from the thrift store. But there was like these little uh, feet that I had to put on it. I'll show you in a second. I was trying not to ruin what I just did. This will work. Uh, there's little like rubber feet. They have little stickers I put on it. Yeah, all right. Birdie fight. Birdie fight. Birdie fight. Have you heard of birdie fight before? It is now called Songbirds, but that is a terrible name. Birdie fight is a much stronger name. I just hit the table. What am I doing? Oh, these all go in here. Birdie fight. Birdie fight.
I think I gotta move my camera for this. Because Birdie Fight actually takes up for Sponge of Where is that? There it is. Put it on the board. Birdie Fight. Such a small game. It actually has quite the footprint. Yeah. It is a game that came over from Japan. Mm. All right, so, and it's, I like, I very much like the kind of small, just deck of cards type games. Those are right up my alley. Boom, boom, boom. Nerdy, do you use, um, do you use XSplit or do you use OBS? So I was trying to, I thought, you know, Lazy Morning Rolling, I could get some music on. I could not, I, I have like a free six month thing to XSplit. No freaking idea how to like throw Spotify through it. Um, I think, I don't know. It just seems like the answer has changed to OBS. But whatever. Yeah, everybody seems to use OBS. All right, so let's see. Let's see how much screen I got. Not nearly enough. Okay. So you are going to have to rotate. I'm so sorry. Over there. How's that? See that lamp? Eh, that's fine. Okay. Um, and then we have to go into the skies. So the, the issue was, this would be fine, right? I mean, I couldn't pick it up as like a, like an audio signal. I think I have to like run it through something. So when I like went to put in an audio source, um, it just said my microphones. Like I have th this microphone here, and then I have the, the, I mean, there's two microphones and the webcams that are terrible. Um, and that's all it would say. There was no like pickup system sound or doing something like that. All right, this is Birdie Fight. Let me do the rest of the board. All right, the first thing you do is make an X. Ta-da! Now, it doesn't pick up... I don't think so. We could try it. That would be interesting. Do I still have it up? Hold on. Tell me if you can... Should you do this one? Yeah. Alright, I'll put on my headphones. Because I can't hear my system sounds. Without the headphones on. Alright. Let's play this song. All right, can you hear that? I guess I have to go back to where I see you. Let me know if you can hear that. Oh, that's a terrible, there we go, that looks a lot better. I have music playing that I can hear. Can't, yeah, see? All right, that's what I thought. All right, enough of that. The verdict is exploit sucks. Sorry, exploit. All right, I thought it'd be good. I mean, it's the premium one. I got a free six months. Maybe that's why I get a free six months. But I'll just switch everything over. So let's see if I can get these in camera. Oop. 
So we are trying to win rows and columns. Rows and columns. Boom. They will be worth different points. That is 15. That is 12. Wow, these rows are good. 8. 15 is the highest. 10. 6 is terrible. Uh, 9. 5, 7. 7 and 12. All right, now we flip over our cards. So these cards go from 1 to 7. They are in four different colors. There's white, there's a red, there's green, and there's blue. Right now there's only white. And, there we go. There's a red. Wow, where are all the blues? Wow. Now there we go. There's a blue. All right, so what we're going to be doing is filling in our... Okay, thanks, Nerdy. I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. What we're going to be doing is filling in the rest of our five by five square. And we will be gaining the berry points on the side. I think the backstory for this is we are spirit animals helping the birds. Uh, but I like to think of it more as a war. No, it's, I don't know why they called it birdie fight, but it's a good name. I like it. People want to play it when I mention that's the name. So what we do is this is our hand. We have our six. And then what we do on our turn is flip over another card. So we can pick one of these two cards to play for this turn. Uh, we can play it next to any other uh, card that's already out. So I couldn't play it here because it's not next to anything else. And what I'm trying to do is um, there will be one card in one color that I save. Say, say I save this six. All right. So I'm going to be scoring for red. Everybody else is going to be scoring for the other colors. And I will want red to win as many little berries fights. Whoever's the highest in the row or column uh, wins the berries. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I think red is actually... I mean, green is in a fairly strong position. And so is white. So these are the two best ones. So these are the ones that I want to win. Um... This is also the second best one. I think white is in the best position. So right now, I think I'm angling to go white. There's still a six white left, so that's probably the one that I would keep. Um, hmm. So where could I put this that doesn't hurt me very much? I think right here is pretty good. Because there's only an 8 there, and white is still destroying them in that lane. Red 2. Okay. Uh, I would like the red 7 to go there, probably, or another 7. Um, a lot of red. Let's put it the place I want to put it is the place I want to put other cards. I can put it here. Yeah, that's fine. Three. There we go. Hmm. feel like I want to put the three here. Because that goes for the nine. I don't care about the seven. I'm going to put the three here. Although, let's see, I have one. I cannot put the three there, I don't think. You have to put the three in this row. Let's put it here then. Oh crap. I immediately messed up my game. Alright, hold on. Thank you, Nerdy. Thank you, Steve. You have to put it next to another bird. Right. So I'm playing this one. Where am I playing it? Can't play it here because that is. I did, immediately did two illegal moves. Just straight off the bat. Went over the rules. 
And just like, here's how you don't play. Ugh. Disgusted with myself. Well, now all the placements are terrible. Uh, let's put it there. Yeah. I don't think I want white anymore. I don't know. I really don't know. All right, now I get my two. Where can I put my two now? I'll put the two here. Yeah, I'll put the two there. Yeah, no, he did not. He did not. I'm just a moron. Um, that changes things up a little bit, right? I still need to put this in this row. That doesn't make sense. Because I would still be one short on this column. So let's stick it there. I'm not really sure I want to be white. I might real hard pivot out of that. Might want to be green. I'm changing my strategy. So the other important thing to note is so in this column, um, since this is seven and that is seven, oh, you can't see my finger, sorry. <laughs> since this is seven and that is seven, uh, they cancel each other out completely and then the green bird will win this one. What I want with a white, I get a white one. Well, I can use this green one too, I guess. That is a thing. So I did say I was pivoting into green. Hmm. So what I really want to do now is use the other colors to make sure nobody wins or I win other things. This one is not, not incredibly helpful. What I'll do is I'll put it here. Right now those, this adds up to three, that cancels out this one. Those add up to four, that cancels out that one. Yeah, so, so this is my turn. So I have a seven blue and I have a, a one green. Instead of placing a card, what I can do is say, hey, I wanna be the one green. We put it to the side and then I draw the new card and game and uh, gameplay continues. If for whatever reason you haven't picked your card, but you just lose. I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't, but um, usually it's good to kind of wait till the end. Um, in a multiplayer game, what you do is you have all these cards in your hand and you're playing them out one by one, and the card left in your hand is your color. Um, so multiple people could have the same color, but you also get the number on the card as well as all the points for the color of the card. So it's good to hold the highest number of the card because you get a lot more points, but at the same time, it's harder to increase your presence on the board if you're holding the highest number in that card. So it's kind of a catch-22. What do I want to mess up with blue? This blue guy right here. I feel like he can do a lot of... Oh, I can't put it there. Mm. Ooh. I can make white win this? Is that good? I don't think so. Why would I want white to win it? Probably don't. Doesn't really matter. For now, I think I'll. Mm, no, I don't want to put it there. Definitely don't want to put it here. What are the options like in this row? No. Don't want to put it in that row. Ah, whatever. Put it there, I guess. 
or no, no, no. I don't like that. I want it here. I just have so few green birds out. Maybe I don't want to put this out yet. Maybe I want to put a green bird out. Let's put a green bird out. <clears throat> Put the green bird there. Get some presence on the board. <clears throat> okay. So if I can cancel, if I can get a blue four, I can cancel out all these. So I'm going to put this here. Plans. We got them. Ooh. I mean, red's going to win this one anyway. There's no way I could win it. So let's cancel out these two birds right now. Green's in the lead. Blue one. Where is the least damage that could do? Mm -hmm. Definitely do not want it there. I could put it here. Four. We want this to be a blue four. That's what we want. So, right now, I want to be green, right? Is that the color I said I wanted to be? Red's starting to look really good again. Maybe blue. This is why you don't lock in a color early. Because it can lead to disaster. I should feel kind of okay putting this here. It's a three. Still have a three. Yeah, I feel okay with that. Oh, there we go. Hmm. that there green seven ideally I want to keep the green seven if at all possible so what do I do with my blue one I think the only place to put the blue one is here I don't think I can win that there's no well, I could put the green seven there and win that row hold on We'll put the green seven there. What does that do? That gets me 10 points. 10 points is pretty good. But I could have also put a green six there. Let's put the blue here, right? That locks in me winning that. Oh, a green six. Excellent. Excellent. What did I want to do with this? What did I want to do with this? So there's no way to win this row, right? Because that's a blue seven. Already winning this row. There's no other whites that will come out, right? One, two, three, four, five. We have a, a white six that is yet to come out. All right. I feel like the positioning is here. Four. I've already won this one handily. I'd like to add to another one if I could. I don't think I'm ever going to win that five. And I know I can't win that six. So I might as well win the ten, I guess. Blue four, come on. White six. Oh no. We put it here, then I need another green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so all the greens are out. And the white is certainly not doing great. Well, if I'm already conceding this row and this row, I might as well put the six here. Uh, 
Oh, no, I don't want a blue five. I want a blue four. Blue four. Well, that's not good. It means I've lost this eight. Unless there is a red five still. There is a red five still. Right? There's no red five here. Well, I'm gonna lock. I'm gonna lock in my seven. See if I get more options. Red five. All right. I like that. So I can win this eight. So it doesn't really matter where I put these. I'll put this here. Blue four. Oh, damn it. There are. There is gonna be one card that I'm not gonna be able to play. Please don't be the blue four. Oh, oh no. No. I had 12 points. This is a blue four. Oh. That is not good. No, I have to put the three over here so I can still win the 10. All right. I think that was probably the difference in the game. Because instead of that getting plus points... That gets me negative points. Um, that is a 24 point swing. Because the blue four was on the bottom of the deck. Ouch. All right, scoring. So, let's see. This guy, so these, this seven cancels out that seven. Green gets it. Um, green has six to five to four. Green gets it. Um, these guys both cancel out. Green gets it. Uh, six to three to three to three. Green gets it. Oh, I could have won this with a lot lesser one, but I thought that was going to be a four. I know. I know. Many tears were shed. So white. Uh, this one is green. I actually did it. If I had that four, this is a really good score. This goes to white because they have... 11. This goes to 6, right? This goes to green. Right, yeah. This goes to red. Uh, and this goes to white with 11. Not green with 1. Oh, brutal. Alright, so all of mine tokens are right here. Oh, I got a lot of them. I got a lot of them. Here are the opposing tokens. All right, so the scoring for first player. Um, basically, same match mode, only subtract the total score of the other three birds from your score. All right, so how much did I get? I got 15, 25, 40... Um, 52, 61, plus 7 is 68. Oh, man. 68, so minus 12, that's another 12. 24, minus 30. What did I say, 58? 58 minus 30 is 28. So what did I score? I'm a handsome spirit. Uh, damn. Yeah, that is literally, so if I had gotten the four here and it wasn't literally on the bo bottom of the deck, that is that 12-point swing. And instead of 28, I scored 24 more points. And then I am, uh, wow, I'm at 52, which is a muscular spirit. Great. That is the next level up. Wow, that's rough. But this is a birdie fight. Uh, it's an incredibly fun game. I like it a whole lot. Even just for the art. I mean, is this going to work? This art is spectacular. Just amazing. It's like those old random bird books they used to say. Yeah, fitting there. Definitely. All right, so that is going to be it for me today. We played some Birdie Fight. Uh, we played some Rush Hour earlier in the stream. We played some uh, number nine, and then, yeah, Muscular Spirit. That's what, that's what you want to be, right? And then we also played some Bits, a Reiner Knizia game. So uh, tomorrow will also be Puzzling Away. 
Uh, we'll be playing some more of these games, uh, plus maybe a couple others. And then our game of the week. Did I have it in here? Yeah, I got the new role player expansion. Uh, so that is Monsters and Minions. So we will be playing a lot of role player this week. Uh, rolling some dice and creating some uh, basically D&D &D characters. Uh, so that is a lot of fun. And Instagram, Twitter, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, if you're not already following the Nerdy Steve, follow him. Steve's great. Uh, he has a great channel. And yeah, welcomes all. And um, that's going to be pretty much it for today. Nerdy, uh, good luck at your pre-release. Hope it goes well for you. Um, I'm hoping to pull some good cards and just destroy people. Uh, so that's what it is. All right, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.